This is the WM9000 HVA by LG. This is one of the biggest front load washers. Well, this is one of the biggest washers you can buy, period. This is a 5.2 cubic foot tub. It is massive. You can fit quite a bit of clothes in this machine. Let's take a closer look. I wanna say thanks to Brandon for getting me this awesome Speed Queen sign. It's like an LED light. So you press like demo. Or you gotta press it by the controller thingy. There you go. And it like will change colors. So it's pretty cool. So thanks again, Brandon. I really appreciate it. It really made my day when this came in. It's like hanging like right by my desk so I could see it all the time. This washer is like chalk full of settings. So you have your steam cycles over here. You have normal, heavy duty, bedding. Oops, turned it on. Uh, sanitary cycle, an allergen cycle, bright whites, tub clean, jumbo wash, which is actually a pretty cool wash. I tried that out. Permanent press, delicates, towels, speed wash, rinse and spin, and then your own downloaded cycle. For options, this washer is equipped with turbo wash, which is fantastic. It does have steam. I'm not really sure what this smart grid is. I'm going to have to look that up and see. It probably has something to do with like doing like connecting it and getting a remote start stuff. Um, delay wash, your custom program, you have your temperature settings, your spin, soil, cycle signal. Oh, and if you guys never knew about LG, if you just need it to spin, you just turn the power button on and press the spin speed button. And so, you know, some people just need it to spin or drain or whatever. And then your mighty turbo wash, cold wash, extra rinse, and pre-wash. So this washer is a pretty well optioned machine. Uh, it's one of the better equipped ones. As you can see, this thing's got a laundry list of options. I mean, it does have the six motion technology, turbo wash. It does hook up to your LG app, the Smart ThinkQ. And it does have an Energy Star rating. So it also is certified uh, asthma and allergy friendly. So evidently this machine can really clean like no other. One of the weird things about this washer is that the dispensers are actually up top and they're covered by this lid, which I don't really care for. I understand why they put the lid here, but it just kind of feels like one more thing to break. So you have your mean wash, your pre-wash, and then on this side you have a uh, liquid bleach only and then your softener. It's pretty easy to get, get to the things. You just kind of lift this cup out and if you wanted to switch to powder detergent, you would take this cup out and you're all set. So let's take it apart and see what's uh, different on the inside. Well, that took a few minutes longer than the last LG I tested, but this one was my first time doing it, so it still only took me five minutes to do. It was pretty straightforward. At this point during the disassembly, you can literally access every single part in this machine, which makes it absolutely easy to service. The control panel now is in the door, and it unplugs via a harness right here, which is pretty simple to do. I don't know how I feel about the electronics being in the board, but... This is definitely more of a classic LG design. They have their con main control board in the back corner along with the fill switch. You have your hot and your triple cold valve. You have a power filter. The dispensers are here up front instead of in one big laundry box here on the side. But you have your you know separate inlet hoses and this specific cold water hose runs it wise off over here and will run the bleach but it also is like the spray too so it runs it runs this little spray jet here and then up top you see this is kind of a universal style boot it has options for more stuff if you know if you end up getting a different model so from a service standpoint that makes it pretty convenient it also does have an interior light which is pretty awesome 
Moving down, you have your basic lid lock assembly. And then at the very bottom, you have your pump with recirculating pump. And you have a couple of suspension rods, and really that's about it. It was really surprising to me that I found only three suspension rods holding up this massive, massive washing machine. I mean, this thing is big. I don't know what you need with a washer this big, but it is big. So that's really it. It's a pretty good quality machine. They took the time to put some noise, soundproofing insulation on the side, and everything feels pretty well built, pretty consistent with LG's build quality. This does have a direct drive motor bolted right to the back of the tub. So the only thing in the back there is going to be the rotor stator and the hall sensor, which is kind of boring. You don't need to really see that. Let's put it back together. And there you have it, five minutes and 12 seconds it took me from start to finish to put this thing back together. Now, you guys are probably wondering what's up with the weird front panel. I actually had to buy an entire replacement door so that I can cut it in half to get access so you guys could see the inner workings of the machine. So the actual 9000 is tinted all the way down to here and it looks much better. But I do, that said, I do want to thank Scotty Kingdom Rescue. He was kind enough to sell me this door that I would have otherwise had to pay $400 for and gave me a smoking deal on it. And he shipped it to me from Texas. And all of his proceeds actually go to his Scotty rescue so i'll leave a link in the description you could go to the website and check him out and if you want to give him a donation that's great but otherwise just send him a message and tell him thanks he saved me like 250 bucks on this door and i'm very grateful for that to finish off this video i am going to do a very quick wash on this machine i'm going to do the speed wash and because it does it won't detect anything it should be a 15 minute wash. I'm gonna activate the turbo wash so you guys could see the jets too. It's pretty cool. Here we go.